Hello, my name is Eugene Cap, and this is Cap Design TV, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create an end slate or an end card for your YouTube channel. Now, I'm going to be doing this in a very specific way so it can be templated out so you can continuously use this uh, for your YouTube videos and update it as you need it. Now, I am going to be using Adobe After Effects CC 2015.3 and if you have an older version don't worry this should work just the same and if you're wondering where I got uh, the resources that I'm going to be using in this video I have linked all of them down below so anyway the first thing we need to do is go ahead and create our project Now, I like to start my project out by saving it. Let's end slate. I'm going to be calling this project end slate. And then I'm going to be grabbing my three images right here that I have set aside, bringing them into the projects window. And then next, I'm going to want to create my composition. So I'm going to want to go to composition, new composition. I'm going to make it 10 seconds, 19 by 20 by 1080. And then I like to make everything 30 frames per second. Call it end slates. Now that we have this empty composition, I'm going to go ahead and grab one of my images and I'm going to use it as the background. It's really easy. All I have to do is drag and drop. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to want to create um, drop in compositions so you can put in former videos. That way, when you have your video uploaded to YouTube, it'll be very easy to create annotations around those, linking them back to other videos. So I'm gonna wanna go to composition, new composition, and call this video one. So inside of the project panel, I'm gonna hit video one, control D, and it's going to duplicate it. Now, I'm gonna open up video one. I'm gonna grab one of the other images and drop something in. Now, normally I wouldn't drop in an image. Normally I'd drop in one of my previous videos. Since this is a demonstration, there really isn't a difference. I'm gonna to go to video two, grab my other video stand-in, which is this lovely image of this woman. Now I'm going to go back to my end slate, grab those two compositions labeled video one, video two, and drag them in. I'm going to go ahead and turn on my title action safe areas so I can see what they are. And I'm going to grab the two compositions that we just dropped in and I'm going to shrink them. That way, we can comfortably fit them inside of this project. And just shrink them down a little bit more. Divide them out. Bring them up. Now, I'm such a stickler for making everything equal. Awesome. Now we have our drop-ins for our videos for past videos. Uh, what we can do now is create a subscribe button. So I'm going to go to my tools at the top. I'm going to grab this rounded rectangular tool 
and I'm just going to make this button. I'm going to change the fill to yellow because, well, it just seems like something we should do. I'm going to grab it. Uh, for anybody, now, I like to have the anchor point in the center of whatever object I'm working on. And I actually have this awesome plugin called Motion 2. And it has all these different functions, but something that has come in just greatly uh, use-wise whenever I'm doing projects is it has this panel where you just, you want your anchor point to end up. Going back to the composition, I'm gonna lower it. Um, I feel like this needs a gradient, so I'm gonna grab the layer, right click, Layer Styles, Gradient Overlay. Under the Shape Layer, I can bring down the gradient and I can switch it. To 270. I can change the Blend Mode to Multiply. And I can bring down the Opacity of it. So it's just ever so gentle and then I can bring up the scale if I want and then if I want again I can go back layer styles and add a bevel and emboss now for anybody who uses Photoshop on a regular basis this should be nothing new to you um, but you know it really should say subscribe so I'm gonna go ahead and grab my text tool Right, subscribe. Feel like it should be centered. So I'm gonna go over to the paragraph tab. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger using the character tab or character panel. Awesome. Now, this button and this uh, subscribe section, uh, when you're uploading this end slate uh, to YouTube in whatever video you're using, uh, you can put an annotation over it and then have people subscribe directly to your YouTube channel. Now, something that I've always done on channels that I've, I've worked on is I've always had some sort of messaging. Say this is a so maybe new videos every Tuesday. And maybe we'll grab this and move it up to the top. Just below. And we'll grab our video compositions and bring them down. Just so it's visually pleasing. Anyway, it's, it's that simple. Now all you have to do is save. And anytime you have a Adobe Premiere project, you can just import this end slate composition directly onto your timeline and end all of your videos the same way. And it's really that easy. Now, anytime you want to change out your, your videos, all you have to do is bring them in, open up those compositions that we had before, the video one, video two, drop it in, and then hit save and you can use this end slate composition or end card composition uh, whatever you decide to name it and just bring it into your Adobe Premiere files or um, if you're editing videos inside of Adobe After Effects for whatever reason you know that might be something you're doing uh, you can just grab this composition bring it in drop it at the end of your video and you have a nice little end card that promotes people to go watch other videos that you've made or to subscribe to your YouTube channel and to become a member. You can start growing that community if you already haven't decided to do that. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you learned something. If you did, go ahead and hit the like button. If you are going to be using anything 
um, from this video and you want to continue this journey, go ahead and finger me by hitting the subscribe button. I know that sounded dirty, but I can't really think of a better way to say it right now, which is fine. If you plan on making your own end card or end slate, uh, let me know what video you decided to first start doing this if you haven't already done it on your videos. Anyway, this has been how to create an end slate or an end card. I hope you enjoyed the video. My name is Eugene Kappen, this is Kappen Design TV, and I will see you in the next video.